Good day everyone. I am Ivy Hermosa, BEC2, and this is the report of the group 10. Let's start. My topic is all about handwriting. Handwriting is the writing done with a writing instrument such as a pen or pencil in the hand. But they are categorized into three major types. Cursive, print, and denialian. First is we have cursive. What is cursive? It's a style of handwriting where the letters are joined together in a continuous flow. Ang cursive writing, ito ay dating karaniwang pagsasanay, ngunit hindi na ito ngayon ginagamit ng mga sudyante kasi ang ibang sudyante ay hindi sila marunong magsulat ng cursive dahil sila ay nahihirapan. Pero kailangan rin natin matutong magsulat ng cursive kasi ito rin ay ating magagamit sa ating pag-aaral. Meron po tayong example ng cursive like ganito po. At ang pangalawa is ang print. What is a print? A handwriting style where letter appear to be disconnect. Ang print handwriting, maari din itong tawagin mga black letter, print script o manuscript. Ang mga sa, ang mga estilong sulat kamay na ito ay kadalasan ginagamit sa pagsulat sa mga official forms because Ang cursive style ay mas mahirap po ito. Dahil ang print ay simple lang pong sulatin kasi hindi po ito connect ang mga letra di, kay, di kagaya ng cursive is iisa lang ang letra kasi tinatawag ito sa kung sa bisaya pa ay pinakatay. Kailangan rin natin matutong magsulat ng cursive or print para din Matuto tayong sumulat kung ano ang dapat nating susulat sa ating pag-aaral. At ito po ang example ng ating print handwriting. And the last, the three types of handwriting is the Dinyalian. Dinyalian teaches children proper letter size, slant, and spacing. Pag tinatawag nating Dinyalian, Ito po ang tinuturo natin ng mga mag-aaral ng mga bata kung ano dapat ang pag, kung paano dapat magsulat ng letra at ito ay nakapantay sa linya ng mga notebook or ang ating mga papel sa mga bata. Ito po ang tinuturo ng ating mga bata sapagkat sila ay marunong sumulat ng mga letra at kung ito ay pantay-pantay pagsulat. Meron po tayong example ngayon sa Dinyalian. Basal Reading Programs In these programs, phonics and the word recognition activities are embedded in a sequence of instruction that includes leading of big book and trade books, use of predictable or pattern stories, writing activities, and a range of extension activities. Spe specifically designed to teach skills that have been proven to be helpful in learning to read. May basal reading program kasi particular na idinisenyo ito upang magturo ng mga kasanayan na napatunayan na ito ay nakatutulong sa pag-aaral ng mga bata. Like, like sa pagtuturo ng pagbabasa ng mga bata o pagsusulat. Ang basal reading program is ito ay more reading, more writing, and more word. Ito ay may mga marami pang mga, sa, mga salita, mga pagsulat, o mga pagsasabi ng mga bata na namag aaral ng mabuti. At marami na silang matutunan dito kasi ito ay tumutulong sa pagbabasa o pagsusulat ng mga bata. Supplement and program, the teacher completely is Blushing and vertical words decodition supplement and program that extend interaction along with the instruction in their auricular and basic lesson and reading programs. Indication parents after inquiring stimulatory programs for use at home. 
to support and stand the introduction that the, the ch children are recording in the school. Hundreds of slush supplement programs are now available and new programs appear regularly in some of these programs. Have a tendrication prints and from the future and board and card games. Flashing card and words list and storybooks and workbooks, other programs, company and tradition prints and materials with audio table, electronic games and videotapes and computer software. Okay, hello. Good day everyone. So my report is all about spelling. So ano nga ba ang spelling? So babasahin ko ano ibig sabihin ng spelling. Spelling is a set of convention that regulate the way of using graphemes to repre represent a language in its written form. In other words, spelling is the rendering of speech sound into writing. So spelling is one of the ill elements of orthography and highly standardized spelling is a prescriptive element. Spellings originated as transcription of the sounds of spoken language according to the alphabetical principle. So they remain largely reflective of the sound, although phonemic spelling is an ideal that most languages orthographists only approximate some more closely than others. This is true for various reasons, including that pronunciations changes over all time in all languages. Yet, spellings as visual norms may resist change. In addition, words from other language may be adapted without being adapted to the spelling system. And different meanings of a word or hormones may be deliberately spelled in different ways to differentiate them usually. Okay, so yun ang ibig sabihin daw ng spelling. Ano kaya, ano kaya yung dalawang sinasabi niya dito? Na sabi niya na meron ng phoning at ang grapheme. So ano yung phoning? Ang phoning is any of perceptually distinct units of sound and specific language that distinguish one word from another. So ito yung mga sinasabi ng mga teachers na okay, sige, spell the word. And the graphene means the smallest meaningful contrast deep unit in a writing system. Ito na yung time na yung mga bata na ang nagsusulat. As I said, sabi ng teacher, okay, spell the word talk. So the talk, that's the meaning yung sinasabi ng is yung yung phone yung mga sinasabi, yung mga sinasalita ng teacher. So ang graphene, ito na yung time na sinasabi or sinusulat na yung mga bata yung sinasabi ng ating teacher. So, ang sa spelling, hindi talaga to siya nawawala sa school, especially sa mga elementary kasi there is one of the needs talaga ng mga bata na makakalearn sila na, oh, okay, kaya ko pala spell ang dog from the sound dog. Okay, d o g So, yung mga ganyan ng mga bagay. At sa report na to, yan lang po yung ma-share ko about sa Spelling and thank you and God bless everyone.